this design that we are doing with the wing connector and the wing <clears throat> is going to challenge you because you're going to need to import a design into Tinkercad and use that as part of your wing design. So in your design challenge, and I know my screen looks a little different from yours, you will find this thing that says wingconnector.stl. Now, it'll also say unknown file because Google has no clue what an STL file is. We don't care. What you are going to do is you are going to click on that and it's going to open a page and it's going to ask you if you'd like to download it. So you need to download that file to your Chromebook. Okay, I'm on a computer. It's downloading it to my computer because you will need that file. All right, once you have that, you're going to go into Tinkercad, start a new file with your name, wing, and right now we're working on it, so it's draft. Okay. At this point, you're going to go over to this import button right here, and you're going to import that file you just downloaded. It's gonna ask you to choose a file. Now, again, mine's gonna show a different screen than yours on your Chromebook, but you will basically find the file that says wing connector. You'll open it and don't change anything in here. Leave it as is, you're gonna import it, okay? So here's our wing connector. Now it's a locked shape, or you should lock it, please do. You can't change the size of it or anything else. This is what we are going to use to connect our wing to the glider. All right, you will need two of these, um, but right now we're just going to show you how to design one wing. All right, this goes on the underside of the, the wing um, for your design. Right now it seems to be sitting on top, but we'll look at how to put it in. All right, so I'm gonna set it over to the side here. Actually, I have to unlock it, I think, to move it. I'm gonna, do not resize it. I'm just gonna set it over the side. It has to stay this size or it will not work on the wing. Okay, so I'm gonna make a wing. I'm gonna go ahead and make probably the most basic wing. And I don't want my wing any thicker than about three millimeters. So I just took a block out and the maximum can be 80. And so I'm just gonna make an 80 millimeter wing here and make it 75. Okay, 76 millimeters. So I have a wing, it's kind of a chunky thick wing. I think I'm gonna go down about another millimeter there, two millimeters, works for me. Now, what I want to do is I want to get this connector so that I can put this wing on the airplane. What I'd like you to imagine is that, um, let me see if I can bring out something for an airplane. Let's just bring out another box. Let's change its color to green. Um, I want you to imagine that there's an airplane out here. Okay, so I've got an airplane and I need to stick this wing, this red wing onto my airplane. And this is where this connector comes in, okay? Um, looks like I'm gonna have to rotate it 90 degrees. I'm going to rotate it and then I'm actually going to raise it up two millimeters and whoops, put it on top of my wing. Okay. So if you look, it's actually not up high enough because there's some space in here. So let's go up another millimeter. There we go. I have to be able to have this hole right here in the connector because it's going to attach to a peg that is on my airplane. And if this is confusing to you, come see me and I will show you the actual airplane. So let's delete that pretend airplane. So now I've got my wing and I've got my connector. I'm going to actually align these so that that's centered in my wing. You don't have to, maybe you want the connector way up here for your wing, okay? So I've got my wing and I'm gonna group it. Now, obviously a plane needs two wings. So I'm going to make another wing just by duplicating this, copy, paste. I now have another wing. Now, if I had a true right and left wing, then what I can do is I can mirror this one so that it looks like the other side of the airplane. You don't have to if your wings are the same. But print two, get two wings, line them up, make sure they're ready to be printed, change this to final, and turn it in.